guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel Archituber. I am Architect Vaibhavi and I make content related to architecture and interiors. If you are new here, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel below. So firstly, I want to address something that I have been observing since so many days by now. Okay, so many of you are watching the videos but are not subscribing to the channel. Please make sure that you have subscribed to my channel. And now in today's video, we are going to be discussing about the analytical reasoning. Uh, which has verbal and non-verbal reasoning okay so it is not possible for me to post all of the lecture in one ppt so this series or the lectures will be divided in mostly three or four parts so please make sure you have subscribed please stay tuned for the upcoming videos i'm posting quite regularly now okay and let us get started with the video so now let us start with the analytical reasoning and the mental ability Analytical reasoning and mental ability is basically uh, test your thinking power, mind and applicability skills. This have two portion like verbal reasoning and non-verbal reasoning. In verbal reasoning, you will have to understand and give reasons for the concept framed in words. And in non-verbal reasoning, you will have to analyze and solve the problems using figure or the word visual reasoning. Okay, now coming on to the first slide, we have to discuss about formation of figures. So basically formation of figure means you will be given some sort of dismantled shapes okay and you have to figure out which shape can be formed using this dismantled shapes or in the part 2 or type 2 you have a figure that is given completely to you you have to identify from all of the four uh, you know solutions which will be the one to make the exact same figure so now discussing question number one okay so let's see in this type of questions a candidate is required to select a figure out of the answer that can be formed by arranging these pieces given in the question figures now let us see the pieces this is one triangle okay this is your second shape and this is again your triangle so two triangles two triangles are there and one shape like that okay so now this is this only single shape even if you do like that it won't solve your problem so d is not the solution c you cannot form something like that using just a rectangle so this is also no and then a this is the mirror image of d so this is also no but when you come to figure number d you can see immediately your first triangle which is this right your second triangle which is given like that okay and your third um, figure or shape which is given like that okay so you have all of your shapes in b so b is the correct answer okay now talking about the type number two they have given a small v then two filled circles, two circle shapes and then two arches over here. So let us see. First option has your straight line. So it is strictly no. Then you have two V's, two filled circles, two hollow circles and one single arch. But we have two arches and we have one V, they have two V's. So this is a no. Then in the option number C, we have one V which is okay uh, then we have two circles which is also okay then two arches it is also fulfilling our uh, requirement and then two fill circles this means your c can be option okay but let us start and confirm with d also so b is not the answer a is not the answer let us look at d d also has two uh, you know v's uh, there's one field circle missing and we only wanted one V so definitely D is not the answer C is what we are looking for now coming on to the cubes and patterns okay a cube is a three-dimensional solid object bounded by six square faces or surfaces every particular face of cube has an opposite face and remaining four surfaces are adjacent to that particular face okay you have to concentrate on one cube 
and what is lying opposite of that particular shape like if i am talking about this particular cube over here from here what is lying opposite to here so in this question what they have asked us is three views of the same cubes are shown below which symbol is opposite to x so now we have to find what is opposite to x it is very simple you have to first look at all the three figures that have that they have given okay so now let's consider this figure as your prominent figure let's consider this so if this is lying adjacent to that okay that means uh, in this figure you cannot see this filled circle or elliptical figure but in option 3 you can see the uh, the same shape okay and what is lying adjacent to is it is or straight line what we are asked is what is lying opposite to x x is also lying adjacent to the this same uh, shape so x must be here right on this face x is lying opposite to the straight line so answer is our d okay now let us understand about the cubes and the patterns there are different formation of cubes that you will be asked so let's learn about the uh, formation of the cubes and unfolded cubes okay so there are different types of pattern how a cube can be unfolded okay so there are basically five types okay so let's learn them one by one in the question if you see a unfolded cube following the line like that then you have to learn about how this l shaped uh, cube unfolds one lies opposite to 6 two lies opposite to 4 and three lies opposite to 5 in the second unfolded cube if you have a straight line then a branch over here and a branch over there so in this pattern one lies opposite to 4 one lies opposite to 4 two lies opposite to 5 and your three lies opposite to 6 then talking about your third formation which can be like straight line i'll draw here straight line one branch from here and one branch from here so in simple terms how can you you know uh, learn this this is the pattern number 1 this is the pattern number 2 wherein you have formations like that and the third pattern can be like this fourth pattern is like that which is making four and the fifth pattern is this is a simplified idea as to you know remember all of this pattern so now uh, which of the cubes shown below could be made from given pattern now this is following pattern number 1 so let us recall first pattern is one lies opposite to 6 okay let's make it this is one this is your 6 one lies to 6 your second lies to 4 second lies to 4 and third lies to 5 now if we see arrow is opposite to the x okay then filled circle is opposite to triangle and normal circle is opposite of this symbol okay so let's see which is the correct cube okay in the figure one this cube over here but the up, but your circle and this is opposite so this is not the solution for it now talking about b uh oh you can only see the circle so let's consider that this can be over here let's assume for now then your field circle is there too and uh, if you can you cannot see the triangle so let's assume triangle over here and x is here okay and your arrow should be here so let's assume second can be the option now coming on to your third option arrow is here so let's consider x is here your triangle is over here so your field circle is there but you cannot see these two right this is definitely not the solution that we we are looking for now coming on to the d we'll discuss about arrow lying opposite to the x but if you can see here it is adjacent to the x right so this is definitely not the answer so b is the correct answer okay now learning about this pattern okay as you see this unfolded cube 
which shape you get reminded of as I have told you. This is the shape. I am writing over here so you can see. 1 lies to 5, opposite of 5. 2 lies opposite to 4. And 3 lies opposite to 6. This is the pattern. Okay. This is your 1. This is your 2. The center is 3. This is 4, 5 and 6. So now let us see which is the correct solution given for the unfolded cube. X is lying to nothing. Then you have second lying opposite to this figure. But in this pattern this is adjacent. So this cannot be the answer. In the second figure as you can see over here X is lying to 1 is lying opposite to 5. Okay, let's assume. So in this, this is the line. This third pattern is over here. Let's assume X is there. Okay, then 4. Uh, 2 lies to 4. Okay, so let's assume uh, your circle is here opposite to this. And 3 lies to 6 this lies to nothing so this can be one option let's see about the third one lies to your five two lies to four three lies to six again here also i'm doing it one lies to five two lies to four three lies to six okay in this one x lies to nothing but that is adjacent so this cannot be the answer in this also x is opposite i a straight line which is okay but the filled circle is opposite to the this shape but in this pattern this is adjacent okay so this is not the answer r b is the correct answer now this is understanding patterns okay this is the unfolded chip that they have given and in this you have to tell them which one is the correct pattern so in this you have to make a house basically a house okay so you have to uh, fold it okay now looking at the a part um, this phase is this which is white okay then this part means your this part let's give numbers so one is okay two is not okay so definitely a is not the answer because it shows an unshaded face below the triangle face right then talking about the second figure uh, you have a which is okay second is okay then your fourth is okay but fifth is not shaded so b can be also eliminated talking about the c part your number one is not shaded in the pattern but it is shaded in the option c so it is definitely not the correct one now talking about your d shape which is a okay two is okay then coming on to your fourth four is okay fifth okay. so this is the answer that we were looking for so you have to see uh, give numbers to this according to your convenience see if the shape that can be seen here is shaded and match them with the options that you have been given now talking about the hidden figures a figure is said to be hidden in another figure when the second figure is completely contains the first figure question based on hidden figure comprises of a question figure and four answer figures and it is asked to find correct answers okay so there are also two types in this okay so talking about your first type which has your complete figure given and you have to see which figure can be made out of this so let us start if we see what figure it is making so now let's try to make figures let's see if we eliminate any of these lines if we can so let's see if we are we can do like that but it is inverted okay this is similar to the option c but can a cube can be made from this no so d is not the answer so now in the type 2 you have been given a figure which is dismantled and have a shape of something so you have to see which of the following can make the similar shape option number a which has this part over here okay so this is going well this is also okay 
so this can be one option then talking about this this is the mirror image of the same so b is not the answer now talking about the c they have the shape but the shapes are opposite right so this is not the answer if you can see this c you have to look minutely this is like that and we have asked to find a shape which is like that so this is not the answer then in the part d also you don't have the same type so this is not the answer so clearly your a is the answer and yes with that we have completed our first lecture on analytical reasoning please stay tuned because there are more three or four parts coming on your way and after that we are going to be discussing about the question bank on analytical reasoning as well okay so please make sure you like comment share and subscribe to my channel below i'll see you in my next video until then please take care and bye